All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we are gonna talk about pinching fig trees once again. If you guys enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button or actually go over to our blog. We have all kinds of fig-related information there, figboss.com. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it. So today's video, as I said, is about pinching fig trees, but this one's gonna be quite different than any of the other pinching videos I've done in the past. We've actually done, if you can believe it, hours worth of video on pinching fig trees. It's a really important topic because, you know, it really is in its purest sense is you can boil it down to, you know, you're gonna remove the apical bud, you're gonna do some pruning on the fig tree during the growing season by removing the apical bud of pinching off the top, pinching off that growth point uh, with our thumbs, our fingers, pruning shears, whatever, we are then able to time the crop of our ripe fruits. And by timing the crop of our fruits is a lot of what we talk about here on this channel because, you know, if you can ripen your fruits at the warmest and the driest time of the year, you're gonna have the best quality fruits. And you're gonna be thanking me. You're gonna say, Ross, thank you for giving me the insight to then use this technique to actually ripen my fruits, let's say, out of monsoon season for people in Southern Florida. Um, for people like myself that are trying to ripen fruits as early as we can to avoid the cold fall weather and often uh, rainy cold fall weather. Uh, so we're trying to avoid the cold, we're trying to avoid the rain. Other people, let's say in the United Kingdom or the Pacific Northwest, you guys might very much so benefit from doing some pinching to not necessarily ripen main crop, but actually to uh, help your braver production. This video, is really not gonna cover the actual technique of performing pinching. If you guys wanna see that and how it's really properly done to do it the right way, I would go back and look at our other videos on this topic. We have a whole playlist that I think I've created over the, over the years now with all the videos that we've talked about with this topic. It's so, so important. I think it really has so many applications that it would be really uh, close-minded of somebody to say that, well, you know, it's just not a technique that we're gonna perform in my climate. It's only for people in shorter season climates. Because what we normally do is we put out this video every year, around this time of the year, it's May 22nd. This is when we really start doing this technique here in my location. And by this time, a lot of people in Southern climates, California, uh, warmer long season climates that really have had a much longer season, a much longer spring than I have, uh, already are seeing fruits on their trees and they're very skeptical of why someone would even need to do this at this point. But I'll tell you right now, uh, there's something called rivers pruning, which I'm gonna cover with you guys, where it's mentioned actually in Ponza's book. If you're interested, this is really the fig Bible. It's called Fig Trees of the Balearic Islands. Montserrat Ponds in Spain is really the fig expert of all fig experts. And in his book, he has a section here, 6.2.3, called Rivers Pruning, which covers um, really pinching, it says here. This consists, this pruning consists of pinching one third of the immature terminal buds of the fruit bearing shoots, thereby activating the growth and ripening of the autumn figs. It is done shortly before the beginning of summer. All right, so let's pretend we're in a climate with a very long season and this branch here actually has fruits on it. Maybe instead of having only six leaves or so, it's got about 10 or 12. And we have fruits all up and down the branch. We then decide we're gonna take off this apical bud. We're gonna break this off with our thumb. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna potentially speed up the ripening of this branch or the fruits along the branch, uh, potentially even fruits along the rest of the tree, who knows. And then we're actually gonna see any fruit formation that hasn't actually already occurred. And we're also gonna see with the addition of some fertilizer, some additional water, very particularly, you gotta pay attention to that water. We're then gonna to start to see new branches form and new growth points form. We may see about two or three. So this will probably leaf out here. The higher points on the tree will have maybe a new branch coming out this way a new one going out this way, and then a new one going out there. And on those new branches in time, we will then of course start to see more fruits, new fruits, 
that ripen later in the season, in the fall, in the autumn, to extend the harvest, and then actually get ourselves uh, not just an extension of our harvest, but really to time the crop around potential climatic events. Thank you. So if your normal fig season occurs, let's say between August and September, this technique of doing the pinching, let's say in mid-June, is going to time your crop to then ripen sometime in, let's say, October or November. Uh, these fruits that are currently existing on these branches, because a lot of you guys by June, even myself, will see fruits along these branches uh, by June 15. So those are gonna ripen at, you know, sometime in the summer, but what we're gonna actually benefit by is by resuming the growth on these trees after we pinch, by giving it food and water, as I mentioned, and then that new growth is gonna come out and produce more figs. So that second crop, you're gonna get a second main crop of figs, essentially, that's then gonna ripen later in the fall, in the autumn. And, um, you know, I think it's actually a brilliant way to increase your production, but also extend your harvest and time your crop so that, let's say, here's a really good example of people in, I don't know, uh, southern Florida, you guys have a monsoon season. So you may ripen all your fruits before the monsoon season or after the monsoon season. If you're trying to get ripe figs during the monsoon season, it's a total waste of time. You're totally uh, just gonna be very frustrated and aggravated with figs. So if you can pinch your fig trees at the right time to induce these new branches to then really essentially double your production to then ripen them in the autumn after the monsoon season, you're gonna be way better off. I mean, you're gonna be so much happier with that knowledge than, than not. You know, depending on where you guys live, you're gonna to have to fiddle with that date. Maybe you wanna pinch now, maybe you wanna pinch uh, mid-June. Figure out 90 days from that date. Um, I'm sorry, it's not gonna be 90 days. It's gonna be lo longer than 90 days because you have to wait for these new shoots to grow and then the, the fruits will form on those new shoots. So you're looking at probably 120 days maybe uh, a little bit longer. So June 1st, 120 days after that is July 1st, August 1st, September 1st. That puts you at October um, 15th. So as I said, you're then able to time your next crop to then ripen in, in October and November. I mean, October 15th is really when the first fruits are ripen, but actually you're gonna see a lot of them ripen throughout October and well into November because, you know, the average fig tree puts out per crop, you know, it's a 30 to 60 day window. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's I mean, so, so much money is, I just gave you guys so much knowledge just from that one little tidbit. You got to hit the subscribe button at this point. I mean, what the heck, right?